this also is like, okay, when are they going to make a move? Like, if this is a work decision, like a work thing, when are they going to make a move? Should I stay here? What do I do? Or do I like this? What am I going to do with this? I just, do I want this? Should I apply for something new? What am I going to do? Is this worth my while? It's the same energy, whether it's romantic or if it's work. Okay. It's the, but the devil's here. Like what? You're just staying in situations you can control. Like you can control the weight. Because all you do is wait, right? But it's constantly conflict here. It's constantly drama. It's 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 constantly it's like addicted to the conflict, addicted to the silence, addicted to the holding back. Never growing past this state of okay, getting two steps further and then staying stuck, staying hesitant. Stuck. Eight of Swords. See? Stuck. I'm not like this. I'm not. It means I don't like this. Me no like this. That's what I said. What's up, everybody? This is going to be a message for Virgo or wherever Virgo is in your chart, okay? Whatever house that is. So, you know, that could be your work, the your sixth house of work, your everyday life, holistic healing. It could be your moon sign, how you're feeling internally, or it could be your sun sign, you know, your identity. Whatever you guys, however you guys resonate with this, okay? It could be your fifth house, your romance. Okay, take it how it resonates, guys. It doesn't always have to be your sun, moon, rising, and Venus, okay? Really listen to what I say when I say that. Watch for your houses. Get your birth chart and watch for your houses. I'm going to say that every time because if y'all do that, you will get so much more information. I promise you. I promise you. Listen to what I say. Listen to what I say. Okay, Vanessa Moon here. Let's go. Let's go. I'm trying to teach y'all. Let's go, Virgo. What's up? What's up? How you doing? Hi, hold on, hi, hold on. I hope you guys are well. All right, so these are quick messages, okay? It's full nine card spread. Let's see what we get. Let's get some advice and be out of here. Uh -huh. Let's see what's the, let's see, June 2024. June 2024. Ooh, seven of pentacles. All right, so we reach a crossroads in our life. All right, so something, um, this is all I say. Um, this is what I say. Should I stay or should I go now? Um... All right, so this is an Akashic record. So we're reaching a, a stage where we were always going to reach in our life. We were always going to get here. We were always going to get here, okay? Um, this is a character arc, okay? This is about planting seeds, planting seeds, something finally about to come to fruition um, and needing to know exactly uh, what to bring with you and what to leave behind, okay? All right? So where, where, to, where to properly invest so you can get this inheritance that the universe has for you, all right? All right. All right, okay, so you're waiting for something to happen. All right, I get it, I get it. But it's not happening because there's something you need to keep shedding, all right? That's what it is. You need to keep shedding skin, all right? But you're almost there. So keep going within. You're going to get it. You're going to get it. You're going to get it. What, what I can tell you here is that you need to see what works for you. Keep doing what works for you. What doesn't work for you, you need to leave behind, though. Don't be afraid to leave things behind right now. Right? The light of less, the less in the load. King of Swords. All right. Yeah. Master, master your truth right now. Be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius of significance. People that don't come through with what they say they're going to do, cut them off, cut them off, cut them off. Cut the dead weight. Let me see a swords person. Cut it. You need to cut it. All right? Seriously. You need to cut it. Silence. Silence is a weapon. Seriously, I feel like silence is a weapon that people use far too often on others. Mm-hmm. Don't let people use that weapon on you. All right, let's see. Um, so there's a situation that's being over overly analyzed here. The devil, yeah, see, yeah. Mm -hmm. So this is like um, some toxic toxic silence, calculated silence that somebody's using, causing someone to wait for someone else. 
So it says causing someone to wait or somebody's waiting to take action in their life. Waiting, 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 waiting to take action. That's what this says. Waiting to, to take to make a move, waiting to make a decision, and just waiting and staying in the waiting. Staying addicted to waiting or staying addicted to analyzing and not actually making a move or or making the necessary ne necessary steps to get out of limbo, okay? Or to, to change your life so they're not always in the same predicament over and over again. Or to do something that fulfills them. Page of Swords. Okay, so now it's time to research. There could be somebody watching you do this. Um, you could be trying to... It's, it's, it's giving stalemate energy or standoff energy. Yeah, it really is. Like Five of Swords wanted to show its face. Yeah, like, okay, who's going to invest first, right? But um, it's really giving standoff or stalemate. Like, somebody has everything they need right here to invest, but they're not doing it. Yeah, exactly. Somebody's ghosting or walking away from a situation when they could invest. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Ghosting, what I say, Virgo? The Hermit card. Mm-hmm. Five of coins, abandonment. Mm-hmm. When it's like, but we could be happy together. Why? Are they happy somewhere else? Are they just single? Are they really single? Are they with someone? Do they choose someone else? Are they my emperor or not? That's what it says. Or do you want me or not? Are you going to step up or not? All right. So this is a this is a case of codependencies. This is a case of what we call limerence. Choosing people that are automatically going to abandon you or don't talk to you. So you have a so you have a reason to play victim that look. We ain't going to go that deep. But somebody's watching somebody, stalking somebody, right? Trying to figure out when it's time to invest. It's just two people like watching, watching each other. It could be father and son. It don't have to be like romantic, okay? Look, yeah, standoff, stalemate. I'm not even gonna keep that because it just fell out on the side. Let's see if it comes back out. I feel like this, see how quiet this reading is? It's like, what's going on? Holding back not investing but keeping you close to their chest what are you going to do about this virgo this also is like okay when are they going to make a move like if this is a work decision like a work thing when are they going to make a move should i stay here what do i do or do i like this what am i going to do with this I just do i want this should i apply for something new what am i going to do is this worth my while it's the same energy whether it's romantic or if it's work okay it's the, but the devil's here. Like, what? You're just staying in situations you can control. Like, you can control the weight. Because you, all you do is wait, right? But it's constantly conflict here. It's constantly drama. It's, 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 const it's like addicted to the conflict. Addicted to the silence. Addicted to the holding back. Never growing past this state of, okay, getting two steps further. And then staying stuck. Staying hesitant. Stuck. Eight of Swords. See? Stuck. I'm not like this. I'm not. It means I don't like this. Me no like this. That's what I said. Because it's just a constant loop. That's what that Five of Swords, is, uh, Five of Wands is. I know my cards are all tattered. I like the tattered cards. I can tell everybody that. Because. See, okay. Let's see. What's my Virgo house? I actually think Virgo's my sixth house. Sixth house? No, it's not. But it's like mm, my house of people. Okay, all right, so I get this way, stuck. I never know which way to go. Like, uh, I'm just gonna stay stuck. I do this. So as I'm saying, what house is this for you? Like, ooh, what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? Make a decision. Make a damn decision. 
it's like rejected. You kind of, I constantly stay around people that reject me. So look, I'm serious. I'm, I'm being honest with you, right? How does this affect you? Because you need to make a decision. Have the courage. What's we gonna what are we gonna do here? This is a strange reading. Oh, you have good fortune. You have okay, so that's what this reading is about. You take one step and you have really good fortune. Yeah, because look, there's just you're deceiving yourself here. You're deceiving yourself by not, by thinking that you're something is gonna happen if you don't take a step. Like you're like you're waiting for something to happen, like intuition. You're staying quiet about something, knowing, knowing that, like thinking that, okay thinking that if you just stay quiet like knowing everything is knowing everything is not working out basically right yeah knowing the truth knowing knowing everything is not working out okay you already know the truth you already know something doesn't work is not working out there's no reason to stay here but if you take one step forward one step forward it will expose everything and you will actually things will actually move in your favor you don't need to stay in this game anymore acting like everything is okay that's what it says. Because things go in your favor. That's what this is. This is a very cryptic reading, but I'm going to tell you what I mean. I'm going to show you what I mean with the cards, okay? I'm going to show you what I mean. This is this is like very like cryptic situation, right? Now, I could have ordered the cards in a different way, right? But I'm going to tell you what I mean. You have somebody here um, plotting. Well, you're plotting, literally plotting, because they're plotting, waiting, Plotted into the land, they waiting for the, the seeds to ripe, the the fruit to ripen enough to pick. Right now, they're calculated. They're waiting. They're not saying anything. Now they're getting toxic. They have. They're obsessing. They're 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 enjoying the praise. They're enjoying the 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 the, the addiction of it all. Right, um, and now they're hesitant to say what they really think or what they really feel. They're stalking. They're waiting. Now they're holding and being stingy and greedy and keeping and hoarding all of what they did get. And whatever yield they did get and keeping it, whatever little it is and being stingy and keeping it to themselves. Now it's causing drama and commotion and chaos and they're watching it go down and enjoying what they see because they're addicted to the drama. Okay, now they're they're listening to the slander, the gossip, and they're watching the gossip and they're listening to it and watching it and enjoying it and laughing at it and and seeing somebody stuck and, and enjoying everybody else. Um, going through chaos and, and fray and watching it go down and not saying anything, but really they're just bored and and they're not actually emotionally fulfilled and they wish it were somewhere different, but at least they're not being rejected, um, you know, but they're rejecting themselves from known possibilities. And if, if anything, if they took just one step forward and became the driver of their own life, they would have a much better life. Life would change for... I mean, exponentially better. I mean, there's all kinds of possibilities, but instead they're hiding from their own potential, their own self. They're lying to themselves, saying they're enjoying this, when intuitively they know that there's much better out there. They know they're lying to themselves they're just, by just staying quiet, playing dumb, and acting like they don't see that everything around them is a whole fucking lie. That's the reading. See, I said it's a real cryptic, weird-ass reading. So this is a reading about somebody knowing they are living a whole entire lie and living in their illusion and acting like everything is okay. That's what it says. Everything is okay. What's that? What is the main overall message here for Virgo? Take one step in a new direction. The door is open for you. You have the power to manifest anything you want. You are super powerful. Use your manifestation power for good. Will it to be, it will be immediately. Literally all you have to say is, I am this, I have this, I want this, and it appears. Almost immediately. Because you have the eight of wands, your signs, the synchronicities, the repeating numbers, the names, the um, everything. Your destiny is written all over, everywhere in front of you. 
Yeah, it's like you even had, it's um, in a past life, you've even experienced something greater than what you're experiencing now. You're remembering it. So just do it. Don't stay stuck for no reason. That's the reading. I hate to say it. It's almost like you're getting synchronicities or signs about a, even a soulmate, even. Like there's some someone or something better out there for you. But you just have to take one step forward. Dang. That says awaken your vulnerability. I'm not going over there to get it. So awaken your vulnerability. Okay? And let yourself experience a rebirth. Okay? Number 12. Let yourself experience a rebirth. Take, take that first step. Make that decision. And create something new for yourself. That's it. You got this. That's your reader, Virgo. I hope that helped you. Okay, love y'all. Bye.